So I've got this Giandel, Gandel, Gandalf, James Gandolfini, uh, Gorgon, Grignac, I don't know. Well, however that's pronounced, this is a inverter, a 12 volt inverter. It supposedly does 300 watts. Come on. So, yeah, pretty simple. Ooh, there's a nice little bag thing in here. What's this? Oh, it's a nice little storage bag. Um, some kind of like synthetic vinyl feeling, I don't know. Comes with a couple extra fuses, user manual, etc. Um, I have a bunch of LiFePo4 batteries, lithium ion phosphate batteries. Recently, I was sent some of these 10 amp hour ones to, you know, try and use. I was like, well, other than just putting them in a amateur radio battery box, which these are great for, uh, what do I do with these? Power goes out here, I don't know, a dozen times a year. And sometimes it's for an hour, sometimes it's for several hours. So I thought, well, I'll just get a little inverter and we'll see if we can, you know, make use of these. Also, I do have my radio battery boxes and stuff, and then I could use these too. I have 12 volt cigarette plugs on all of those. So I could just plug this in and, you know, charge my laptop, power a light, run a fan. Uh, if it's hot, you know, it's summer right now. Power went out for about a minute yesterday, but I could have used this for a fan for several hours off of one of these probably, right? So let me hook all this up and then we'll be right back. You'll pardon my little Frankenstein configuration here. Um, <laughs> I hate these tabbed batteries. I think these are called what F-type or J-type or something like that. Yeah, F-type. So I have F-type to power pole, then I have power pole to a female DC cigarette plug, 12 volt cigarette plug. And then this comes with a 12 volt cigarette plug. For versatility, I'll leave this, but in the future I might buy another one and I might just cut this cable and put power pole straight on it. So then I can just hook it up to power pole on my radio batteries. So yeah, we've got an on and off switch. We've got a couple USB ports and we've got our two outlets. So let's find something. I have a DeWalt battery that'll draw about 60 watts. That'll be a good test for this. Let me go grab that. We'll get that going and I'll tell you some more facts about this. So again, this is the Giandel, Giandel, Giardelli, I don't know. Pure sine wave power inverter, 300 watt. Obviously this is meant for your car because it's got the 12 volt plug. So, the listing says it has 30 watt power delivery. Um, this model clearly doesn't. So be careful when you do buy it. Um, ah, I see, sneaky, sneaky. The silver model has a USB 3.0 power delivery that'll do 30 watt and then a 3.0 USB and they're in the vertical orientation. The red model, which I bought, has two A. And sorry about that scratch scratch in there, a little ASMR for you. So it just has the dual USB ports. Um, when I bought this, it was 35 bucks on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description and stuff and a sticky comment. Claims it'll do 300 watt rated, 600 watt peak, um, two DC five volt, 2.4 amp max for the USB, auto detect zero to 2.4 amp. And then it has a nominal input, input voltage from 9.8 to 16 volt DC. Um, that's probably at about 13.4 right now. Claims max efficiency of 91%. Um, I know in their bigger model, I was getting a whole lot less than 91%, but I don't know what it was rated at. There's another video of that here on the channel. That's a 2200 watt one. So, yeah, that's the only pertinent information from the, the packaging. It does have what it calls is a smart fan here on the back. Um, just looks like a little case fan. And then your fuse access is also right there. Uh, it looks like it has two little Phillips head screws. And it did come with a couple extra blade fuses, which is always nice. Although, you know, who doesn't have a bunch of blade fuses sitting around? So yeah, let's go ahead and get this hooked up. I will say right now, this battery's not gonna be happy about this. So we're not gonna do this for very long. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's a amp hour on this. DeWalt, so yeah, at 20 volts, this DeWalt battery is nine amp hours, and 60 volts is three amp hours. Um, it's 180 watt hours in this battery, which is, yeah. So we're not gonna do this for very long because this is gonna get pretty angry pretty quick. It is on and the DeWalt's come on, it's charging. Now I know this draws about 60 watts. So 
we're pulling 60 watts plus whatever the efficiency loss is. Um, on the larger model, this was taking about 100 to 110 watts, if I remember correctly. So we're probably drawing 100 watts off of this right now, give or take, which is probably not too bad. Um, the battery is probably the weak point here. Let me get my infrared here. See if anything is getting spicy. Uh, flip it the right way. So of all things, the Dewalt battery is the hottest. This is 82.6 degrees here by the little heat vent. Um, the battery 75. We're getting about 78.9 here. At those F posts or F type terminals, we're getting 71, which is about ambient. Uh, we are getting 73 there. And the unit itself is just above ambient, 76 and a half. We should be at 73, 74 in here. Uh, the battery was on the floor, so that's why it's a little cooler. But yeah, this thing's doing pretty good. The battery, the DeWalt battery and the DeWalt charger are the hottest things. This is the 82.6. So overall, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Get my big thumb out of the way. Yeah, see? That's the, the hottest parts. The inverter itself is getting a little warmer, the 75. Uh, the battery's heating up finally. So I'm gonna leave this run for a minute till the fan kicks on and then I will come back and we'll let you hear that. So it's been several minutes now and this thing's just not getting any warmer. Um, the DeWalt's at 87.7 at the vents. We're hanging out at 75.6 on the fan or the heat spreaders and we're about 75.7 to 76 uh, depending where I get it at on the cable and the f-type terminal um yeah and then like this is 70 degrees and so yeah I mean this thing's running great it's sorry I was taking a picture there of the heat um I'm, I'm quite happy with this little thing if you're an amateur radio and you just want something to you know maybe pull some AC off if you need to charge your laptop in the field or something on radio day, or, you know, you're doing um, summons on the air or, or whatever, and, or you're doing MCOM and you're set up somewhere and your laptop's dying and you're trying to log stuff and organize stuff and you just need to charge it a little and you can't do it off USB on your battery boxes, you could hook this up to one of your external battery boxes and, you know, power pull and pff, like it's, it's doing fine. Like I said, this charges just a hair over 60 watts. So we're at least pulling 60 watts fine. Um, I would never try to use something like this up to 300 watts because the longevity of stuff when you're using it at its maximum, you're gonna be putting a bunch of heat in, you're gonna be straining the fan, you're gonna be straining the components, etc. But if you're operating under 300, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with even 200 watts, 100 watts. And I'm just using this little 10 amp hour battery here. And I mean, it's, it's handling this fine. So in an emergency, I could power my laptop off of this or whatever and then yeah hang out we could watch a movie or something no big deal i'm just off one of my my radio batteries or one of my bigger batteries because like i said you could just power pull this thing or or whatever instead of of doing this but you can get one of these little 12 volt adapters for power pole pretty cheap or make one but yeah i like it um at 35 bucks i'm gonna buy a few more of these i'm gonna get one for each of my battery boxes that i currently have built and uh, they all have much more amp hours than this. Most of them are at 30, some of them are at 50. Uh, one of them's actually at 100 amp hours. 100 amp hours for something like this, your laptop, you know, I could go a whole day without power or more. And if I'm going camping or something, you know, this adds hardly any more weight. And yeah, then I have a little bit of AC power wherever I go, or a fan. Um, my, my primary intent with these was in grid down situations is to run a fan if it's hot in the summer. Um, it was 92 degrees yesterday and the power went out for like a minute and a half. And I was like, great, let me get out the eco flows and start hooking up fans and stuff. But fortunately power came back on, but this would be perfect for that. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, thanks for stopping by guys. If you have any experience with these or any tips or tricks, or if you have the silver version that has the USB-C, let me know how well that works in the comment, uh, comment section. I'm probably going to pick up one of those ones next too, just so I have options. But yeah, I like this thing. It's pretty great. See you guys.